usually, masks are worn on the face, but not always. Sometimes they cover the whole body. Other times, they're designed to be worn on a different part of the body, kind of like a second face. And sometimes they're just meant to be decorative and not be worn at all. Today, you will be building that mask that you designed last week. And before you start, you want to decide how you're going to use it. Will you be wearing it on your face? In that case, you want to make sure it has eyes to see out of. But if you're just going to make a decorative mask or a mask that is put on the wall or worn somewhere else on your body, you don't need to worry about putting in eye holes. But you do want to make sure that it's the right size. And so we're gonna do this first part together. We're going to measure our face. Take your hand and line up the bottom of your palm with your chin. Notice how high up your hand goes. Spread out your fingers and notice how they cover most of your face. Now take a piece of paper and put your hand down on it. Mark the bottom of your palm, the top of your middle finger, and how far out you can spread your fingers. All right, put your hand back on your face, just like you did before. Now take your other hand and make a fist. Line up the bottom of your fist with the top of your middle finger. Notice that your fist goes the rest of the way to the top of your head. Put your hands down and go back to the paper. Line up your fist with the mark that you made for the top of your hand and mark where your fist ends. Now draw around the outside of those lines. Make it whatever shape you want your mask to be, but make sure that those lines you drew for marking your hand are inside of the shape that you choose. Now we want to build our mask. Cut out the face shape that you made. Then look at your drawing and try to find shapes that you can use to build the drawing that you made. You want to use shapes that are going to stick up if they are too thin and flat, they won't show up very well in the final version. This means you can stack shapes on top of each other until they are very tall, or you can bend cardboard pieces so that they stick up from the surface of your mask. But keep in mind as you work, you want things to stick up as much as possible. You can use any of the materials that your teacher has provided and use glue and tape to hold things in place. This is not our final step. We're gonna cover these with strips of something called plaster, which will fill all the gaps and make the final masks hard feeling. So don't worry about things being super secure or any holes or gaps. You basically just want to create the rough structure. You wanna make your drawing three-dimensional. You wanna build up the shapes so that they stick out from the mask. A good test is to look at your mask from the side. If you can see all the different shapes easily, then you're probably okay. 